Welcome back. You just heard an amazing performance. Chris Mann with us talking about brand new album, not one but two. You're kind of an overachiever like that. Well, I've had some time on my hands. Have you? Or not, really. I've been working all the time. I was going to say, you've been <laughs> extremely busy. You know, it's interesting, and I, I realized this once you mentioned it, but you went to Vanderbilt. So I did. you were studying music at Vanderbilt, classically yeah, trained I opera. I went to Blair. Yeah, I was a, a vo classical vocal performance major at Blair, so I'm excited to be back in Nashville. This is definitely my favorite town in America. So, uh, And then I moved to New York and yeah. then to L.A. to pursue a recording career, and, you know, things sort of went the way they went, and, and now I'm here. So, in working your way through it, you were going the traditional route, and then reality show comes. Were you hesitant, thinking, I, don't, I could really screw things up this way? By reality show, you mean The Voice, right? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the one, yes. Um, you know, I, I wasn't sure. You know, I, I, uh, I've tried things to do things the traditional way, and I used to have a record deal, and it didn't work out the way I thought. And when, you know, you always question, is this the right move for me? But it was definitely the best thing I ever did. Uh, really gave, you know, the country a chance to see me do what I do and not have to fight the politics. And right. Christina Aguilera, of course, was my coach on there, and she was really good to me. Is it hard for someone as a classically trained vocalist, is it hard for you to find a genre? Because it's not pop, it's not right. country, it's not roots. I mean, you know, right. is it hard to, to fit? Uh, it is, you know, and I tried, I've wasted a lot of time over the years trying to fit, and that's one of the things I talked about on the show is that I was going to come on here and just do my thing and not try to fit. And that, that was really when I felt the most comfortable and when people started to really respond to my music was when I was not trying. And it's working because not only do you have new album that's coming out October 30th, by the way, but then you're also, you've already got the Christmas album out. I do. I'm, uh, Walmart called almost uh, immediately after the show. So I have a record in Walmart, Home for Christmas, which is coming out this week, and you can get it on Walmart.com. And Rhodes, uh, actually, I that. recorded here in Nashville. An incredible producer named Keith Thomas brought that song to me, and I did it here, so I'm proud of that. And you can get that online right now at ChrisManMusic.com, pre-ordering that. That is so cool. So everything is working out the way that you planned? Uh, I'm very excited right now. This is I've been doing this for 12 years, so yeah. that whole overnight success thing had a lot yeah. of history before. 12-year so, overnight success. Right? Yeah, so it feels good just to be making music and to be doing what I love, so I feel really lucky. Now, I know you did a duet with Christina. Anybody else that you'd want to duet with in the future, possibly? Um, well, since we're in Music City, I mean, Vince Gill would be probably at the top of my list, one of the best singers in the world, really, yeah. so that'd be pretty cool. Your voices would probably sound beautiful together. I would, that would we'll be We'll make fun. that happen. Make we'll, it happen. We'll Vince. call Vinny. Hey, what's up? Let's Vince? Do it. Give him a call. All right, everybody, Rhodes coming out October 30th. Make sure that you check it out. Thanks for coming in, Thank Chris. Thank you. It's great to have it. you here.